Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Train for Sim World. Dovetail Games. Focus Entertainment. Focus Sim Series. Ba bum ba bum bum. Okay, yeah, all right, an intro, and now we have Tiny, well, to me, it was tiny anyway. Railways are dangerous. Try again. Railways are a dangerous place, and you should never attempt to replicate or copy the activities you see in-game on the real railways. For your own safety, do not trespass on railway property. Always follow advice given by railway staff and observe signs and instructions provided at all times. Train Sim World 4 has been designed to give you the freedom to enjoy your passion from the safety and comfort of your own home. Or if I'm in a hotel. <laughs> Press any button to continue. Okay, right. First of all, this right in could be fucking bigger. Yeah. Secondly, thank you for allowing me to be the one who decides when I move on with regards to the text and the reading. Uh, press any button to continue. If I can, I'm going to skip this. No thanks. Oh, character select. Okay, unless I'm seeing something or not seeing something here, the character select. I, I can't tell what... Like, that to me is female possibly identifies as female male male female female very androgynous some of these and very quite dull and boring is that who you think would be interested in a game like this then is it uh, I'll, I'll play a profile name I'll put boring person. Thank you. Confirm. Beginner, get started with training. Recommended based on your profile. Don't have a profile. Uh, yeah, beginner. First thing I'm going to do, turn this fucking music off. Way too loud. Navigation and interaction. Welcome to Train Sim World. An immersive... Thank you. Options. Oh. Where are we going? Options, settings, audio, menu, music, we'll have, we'll put that down to about 20, I think, that'll do. Uh, apply is that one, is it? And then back. 
immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. Oh! This is the training center. Here you can learn about how to navigate and interact with the world as well as how to operate the many trains. Let's start by looking around. Find each of the markers and look at them. Right. I'm going to try my best to let's put uh, let's put it there roughly so that I can kind of right okay I'm going to want to change that why would I automatically want to go to message log controls invert y axis yes Fly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Better. Okay. So found one. Oop. One over there and over here. If you found yourself looking up when you wanted to look down. No. That's better. Your current objective is shown at the top left of the screen. Walk to the blue marker to complete the current objective. Oh, I will not walk on the grass. Somebody's obviously spent time cutting that. You've been awarded some action oh! points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience level for the game. Right, got it. This is one of the many types of root tasks to be discovered. Keep an eye out for many more types and styles of root tasks, which can involve placing, collecting, or fixing a variety of things. Right. Head into the main building, and you'll continue your induction. Oh, through. thanks. Will there be snacks and beverages? Do I get paid? Sit in any of the seats i'll sit by you and i'll man spread shall i you can pause train sim world at any point to review objectives and a lot of other information about what's happening at the moment try it now and then return to the game after you've had a look around okay already been in here already been in here Now that we've covered some of the basics of moving around and interacting with the environment, let's take a walk through the building and find the trains. This is Central Square. From here you can explore the main training center depot and surrounding yards. I, I can hear these weird ambient noises, but I can't work out what they are. Like, is somebody mowing a lawn? Or is it just, like, air conditioning or something? Your journey operating trains is just getting started here in the training center. Remember, you can always come back here from the main menu to refresh your knowledge if you're unsure about anything. Continue to learn and other training modules here in the training center, and then you'll be ready to take on more challenges in other environments. Okay. Right. <sighs> this module will cover the on-screen overlay, known as the heads-up display, or HUD, that is shown when you are in control of a train. 
Climb up the ladder into the train and then sit in the indicated seat. Okay. Why didn't they just make the icon further down? I don't need to have... Right, okay. Climb up the lad as a ladder. Steps, I believe. Press Y to sit. Okay. Welcome to the most important seat in the train. While sitting here, you'll be in full control. Before you think about moving the train, though, let's look at the HUD overlay that's appeared on the bottom right. Okay. The heads-up display is a guide to what your train is doing. The main part of the HUD is the speed display. A white bar will appear around the outside to show your current speed, and the red mark indicates your maximum permitted speed. Right. Press A to continue. <clears throat> Press A to continue. Thank you. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. Press A to continue. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power or throttle control is in. Press A to continue. These are the brake indicators. The exact ones shown will vary by train and will often be visible in the train itself on various gauges. They tell you what's happening in the braking system. The most important one is the BC or brake cylinder. If that's reading zero, then your brakes are released. Anything else? and brakes are applied and you won't be able to move. Okay. Press A to continue. Every train can have small variations in the HUD unique to the way it works, but they will mostly look the same. As you learn to control new trains, study the HUD and learn how it helps you operate it. If you want to see this again, you can rerun this training module at any time. Press A to continue. Performance breakdown. Okay. Okay, moving a train. In this training module, you're going to look at making the train move and then bringing it to a stop again. While many trains have different controls and are operated in different ways, there are basically always three controls that are common and are required to move the mm -hmm. train. The reverser sets the direction between forwards and backwards. The brakes are used to slow or stop the train. The throttle controls how fast the train accelerates. In this train, the throttle and brakes are controlled by a combined power and brake handle. We want to move the train forwards, so move the reverser to that position. Okay. Pull the power brake handle toward you to release the brakes and apply power. Choo choo! Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground, and the train will only slow down very gradually. Is that right? Have I done that? Is that correct? So, right, the right trigger increases power, power brake handle, power brake handle off, power brake handle backwards one. While the specifics of operating brakes vary from train to train, the basic process of stopping is fundamentally the same. 
bring this train to a complete stop by moving the power brake handle into the braking range. That concludes this module. Restart the module to learn the steps again, or move on to the next module. Okay, I don't know what I did. I thought I put it in reverse then. Uh, continue. What? Well, oh, fuck off with all that. In this training module, you'll be learning basic passenger operations in a BR Class 323 electrical multiple unit. Okay. When you are ready, climb aboard the train. Take a seat in the driver's position. To unlock the control desk, insert the master key. Right, where's that then? Ah. <laughs> right, okay. Great work. To allow passengers to board, you will need to open the doors. Keep the doors open to allow enough time for passengers to board the train. How do I see that though? Ah, uh, it's just a, right, okay. Now that the passengers have boarded the train, close the doors. Set the reverser to forward. So I gotta press down to go forward. And the thing is called the reverser. Okay. Apply power to get moving. Right. This train has a combined brake and throttle handle. Apply a small amount of brake to gently bring the train to a stop at the next station. Right. Okay. 600 and something meters. So if I pump up the gas, I can bomb along, yeah? Maybe we can have an accident. Can't go higher than four. I can't hear any screaming. Turn on driver something something. What the what? What? Right, okay. So we need to start bringing this down a bit. Stop! You can open the doors each side, right? Okay, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Loading passengers. Close. I am. Reach the next destination unguided. Unguided? Okay.
that was weird because I was looking at the thing that says stop at location and it it seemed to go up as if okay let's uh, bring this back down bring it back down to four Oh, it stopped a lot quicker than it did just now. Maybe I was going a bit faster, actually, thinking of it. Come on. Choo-choo! So if I bring that down to zero, we should be in neutral now. And then bring it up to four. No, 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 no. Down to four, down to four. Fucking hell, put the brakes on, put the brakes on. What are you doing? No deaths. It doesn't say which side. Oh, yeah, I can tell which side because the platform is there. Lock doors. Great job. That concludes training on passenger operations. I'm a fucking train driver. Changing ends. Ah. Oh, fuck off. Fucking adverts. Hmm. In this training module, you will be learning how to change driving ends of a train. During this brief introduction, you will be taken through how to set up a cab for driving, shut down a cab, and how to change which train cab is the lead. Firstly, we need to set up this cab for driving. Okay. Set the master key to on to unlock the control desk. On. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. All right, press down to go forward. Apply some power to get moving. Come on, whack it up. Let's go. Here we are. We can bring it back down now to chug along speed. Whoa, what's happened there? Why is it in the red? Oh, I need to be going slower, do I? Oh! I'm going faster than I should. Oh, fuck, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Right. I'm going to shift this over to that side because there doesn't seem to be anything that you. When ready, apply a small amount. No, 
I've got to bring it back over there because it's I'm cutting off dialogue. Uh And then we'll just bring the set the brake throttle handle to neutral. Brake throttle handle to neutral, which is there. Press up on the D-pad to set the reverser to off. Reverser is off. Remove the master key. Right. Well done. You have successfully shut down this cab. Now travel to the cab at the other end of the train. Sit in the driver's seat. Okay. Fucking hell, I've got a gun. Why would I... What? Why have I got crosses? Am I going to get held up by Mexican bandits? Right. Press Y, sit down, close the door. Now activate the new cab for driving, following the same steps as before. Master key. On. Uh, press forward, which I've done. I have. Have I got a physically presser? Press down. All right, okay. Well done. You now know how to change ends in a train. That concludes this training module. Okay, I went a little bit faster. I got done for speeding. Change your path. Oh, here we go. This module will go over the fundamentals of operating junctions to change the path your train will take and how to navigate using the map. Most rail lines around the world are controlled remotely by a signaling center or dispatcher. From the perspective of the train, the direction taken is automatic. But within yards and depots, many small and frequent movements are required. This makes remote control of the track impractical. In these locations, the direction taken is manually controlled. You can set junctions by either walking up to them and interacting with them, or going to the 2D map and changing them from there. Okay. Let's change this junction by hand first. Walk over to it and change it by operating the lever. Notice how the point blades move on the track. Try moving it a few times so that you can see how it works. I'm not noticing what's changing on the track. I can see what's changing. Let's head over to the train and then we can look at the map. Okay. Yep, sit down. I am! Close the door. Open the map and change the indicated junctions. Right, so... This one... The fucking control is a bit weird. So I've got to be, the dot is going to be on there. Right, okay. Ah. Huh? Oh, i got to press this one. Switch lever. Right, so I'm, I'm going on this one. If you're coming up with switch lever, pressing A. 
Right. Your junctions are set correctly. Let's get the train moving and see it all working. If you can't remember how to make the train start and stop, there is a training module you can rerun to remind Master yourself. Master key is on. Uh, we want to move the train forwards, so move the reverser to that position. I've done it! Is that not right? Oh, you got to hold it down. That's weird. Okay. Let's fucking wheel spin. Come on. Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground and the train will only slow down very gradually. Okay. Bring this train to a complete stop by moving the power brake handle into the braking range. I'm doing it. That concludes. Hurrah! The all the junctions in the training center are manual, so you can go anywhere you wish using the map and by changing junctions manually. If you want to practice, go to Explore on Foot in the training center. You'll find trains dotted around, and you can practice driving them and moving them around the yard. Don't forget, you can always rerun this training module later if you can't remember any of what's been covered. Diesel train introduction. Right. Oh. In this training module, you're going to learn to drive a diesel electric locomotive and how the controls differ from a multiple unit. This is a BR Class 66 diesel electric locomotive, typically used for freight operations in the United Kingdom. Okay. The reverser sets the direction between forwards and backwards. Same as the other train. There are three types of brakes in this locomotive, and which one you use will depend on the situation. We'll learn more about the different brake types in future training modules. The throttle controls how fast the train accelerates. Right. We want to move the train forwards, so move the reverser in that direction. Okay. Keep the brake control in release until you can see the brake pipe control needles are reading 5 bar, pointing upwards. This will release the brakes fully. Right, okay. Watch the brake cylinder, or BC gauge, to see it gradually reduced to zero, which tells you that the brakes are now fully released and you can move the train. Apply some throttle to get the... Oh, get out. As you apply power, notice the amp bar rising. This is the amount of power being fed into the traction motors. Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground, and the train will only slow down very gradually. Choo-choo! So with this one then, I can do... I can go up there. You have a bit better... A bit of a better view of what fantastic UK scenery I have. Oh, shit. brakes in this locomotive are lapped. Rather than directly selecting the brake force with a handle, you use the brake control to add or release braking force. Braking force will be held until you release it, as you did before setting off. 
Bring this train to a complete stop by holding the brake control in the apply state until you see the brake pipe control needle in the center of your cab desk showing about four bar. Left to go. The amount of braking you'll need to apply also varies depending on whether you're going uphill or downhill and how heavy your train is. Right, so when do I have sandwiches then? I know my grandfather used to work on trains and he used to cook bacon and eggs on the shovel in the fucking cooker and stuff. Stopping a train is one of the biggest challenges of controlling them, particularly stopping them in the right place. That concludes this module. Restart the module to learn the steps again or move on oh, to the next. Do you know what? <clears throat> I'm, I'm happy enough with what I've seen so far. Uh, it's interesting. I like what they've done. I like the effort that they've put into these kind of games. Uh, they're not for me, however. So I will not be pursuing any more of these modules. But, um, I mean, I, I could play it and try and cause a crash. Let's see if we can cause a crash. All right. Let's go to the main menu. Uh, to the trains. Let's see what my collection has. Train depot. Pick a chain. Pick a chain. Pick a train. We love that one. That looks like it can go quite fast. That one. That one. I don't care. Let's have a look. Is there a search? I know. Let's put in. I just fucking put it in. So is that no then? Okay, yeah, we'll just click that. Get started. Let's go. Here we go. Unlock doors. I thought I fucking had blind. Where's the doors? <laughs> fucking yes. So where where are the fucking door release? Ah, there. Okay. Oh, is it door release this side? Right. Load passengers. Am I supposed to have gone through all the modules of all the different trains to learn? each of the fucking buttons am I is that what I'm supposed to be doing with my life which I will not be doing at all <coughs> wait until 1920 Do I wait until 1920 to close the doors or or not? What am I waiting until 1920 for? Lock doors. Okay. Stop at location.
power handle off. But where's that then? Oh, there. Oh, I got to insert the key. Right, okay. There we are. Where was the... If, if I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to fucking go through each module. Before I can learn how to. Insert and set master key to on in this cab. I thought I put it on. Right. Well, where's the fucking directions? Power handle off. <clears throat> Forward preparation. Okay. Where's the fucking power handle? I gotta lock the doors. Is that what the fuck is this? What? Have I opened the doors the other side as well? Oh, this is fucking boring. I, I don't want to go through this train in thing for each fucking train. Engine start. Why is it, why is there no master key? Press the electric push button. Where? Right, break release. Another fucking train.
windscreen wipers, engine stop, engine start. Electric. Uh, right, people are going to start getting off if I don't fucking move. Oh, I don't care. Fuck off.